Hello from the Latvian town of Laipaya and today we're going uh, just up north to um, a town uh, that is now part of Laipaya but used to be uh, something a bit different and uh, has a reputation of Latvia's most dangerous uh, neighbourhood so come join me and uh, see what we find up in Karosta Lovely Karosta. So we've made it to Latvia's most dangerous neighborhood. This was once um, territory of the Swedish Empire and then in the 18th century Imperial Russia invaded and turned this into a naval port, naval town where um, the Russian uh, Baltic fleet was stationed in case of war of Germany or um, Sweden and then when the Soviets came they, con they continued its tradition of being a naval town for the Soviet fleet and this entire community revolved around this and uh, the navy and when uh, in 1991 when the soviet union collapsed this entire community just lost the soviet fleet and once a thriving town with jobs for for the naval base overnight everyone lost their jobs and there was no employment and when un unemployment happened crime ro uh, rose and skyrocketed and it gained its reputation as the most dangerous town or dangerous area in Latvia. Привет. Меня зовут Аня. Я всю жизнь живу в Коростине. Мои родители приехали сюда из Новосибирска. Раньше было очень опасно после развала СССР. And because this was a naval town for the Soviet Union, people from all across the Soviet Union came here to work on the naval base. Russians, Kazakhs, Georgians, and when they, when the Soviet Union ended, they kind of were stuck here, abandoned and unemployed. And they segregated themselves from the wider Latvian uh, community because of language, they were all Russian speakers and cultural because they were culturally Russian and they didn't celebrate the Latvian holidays. Um, they celebrated the Russian Orthodox holiday and this is mainly a uh, Catholic country. And as they were segregated, they got more um, alienated and they got more abandoned and things went more into disarray. Мы не так часто выходили, было много нехороших людей. Итак, мы переехали в Леопаю, чтобы уйти от этого. Я учился там и все такое. And so when you have a mix of unemployment and alienation, you get a deprived community rampant with crime. And that's what Karasta became. It was so bad that even um, if you called the police here, they wouldn't even come if it was in Karosta because it was a, it was dangerous for them, too dangerous even for them. So it was just deprived and uh, had no hope in Karosta. And here are the remnants of um, the Soviet Union, the Soviet naval base town. These are Khrushchevkas, the communist apartments, as far as I can see. And you can see there are four floors higher. They're four floors high because um, Soviet building code uh, stated that any apartments um, built above five floors or more needed, an, uh, needed a lift or an elevator. So to get around that, they simply made it four floors high. And here we are at the Baltic Sea. And if we kept going over there, that's Sweden, Estonia, and South Lithuania, all the way down to Poland and Germany. So, the most dangerous neighborhood in Karosta doesn't seem very uh, dangerous, it's actually quite nice. I had a chat with some Karostans. Yeah. And um, things are looking up in Karosta. The Latvian government um, instituted language programs to help them learn Latvian and integrate more in the Latvian community, as well as Laipaya, the city uh, we started. 
big, uh, building more infrastructure to connect uh, Carosta with Laipaya to um, improve job opportunities and such for uh, Carosta. So soon maybe uh, Carosta will be quite a lovely place to visit. I sure, I sure uh, enjoyed it here and uh, learned a lot about Latvia. Сейчас намного, намного лучше. Я действительно рад, что все произошло таким образом.